Is that you, Shasta? Thinks he's hallucinating. No, just a uh, new package, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I've always, I've been a massive fan of the music first, I think, and then the music sort of was the gateway drug, I guess, into wanting to know about other uh, facets of the of the era, really more the 60s, I suppose. This film is really just the tail end of the 60s. Um, but so much great, great art came out of that time, the films from that period, early 70s, I love. For some reason, I don't know why, but I, 1971 to me is the best year in music. Every time I find something I've never heard before that I love that's old, I look at the back of the record and recorded in 1971. I don't know what that's about. But yes, I've always loved the time. I mean, it's just such a, like, a cup runneth over, like, you know, generation of, you know, the best films, the best music, you know. I mean, it's, it's funny. There's something happening there, for yeah. sure, and there's so much fascination of that era, you know. It's kind of the era of the auteur, you know, mm -hmm. that it's like, just as sort of the hive mind of, like, peace and love was kind of falling apart and getting corrupted and everyone was sort of going off disenchanted and doing their own thing, so also were these, like, amazing super groups breaking up and branching off into amazing experimental solo artists. And, yeah, the individual voice, yeah, and, totally. And you started seeing these films that were very much products of, you know, the predecessors of Paul Thomas Anderson. You know, you started seeing, like, Terrence Malick movies where they're just, it's a, a, a person just conceives of this universe from the ground up and writes and directs and creates. And I think it was a really interesting moment in culture for, mm. like, full, a fully developed personal idea. A little bit dark on the socioeconomic side. Yeah, but, but also um, that reflects it in the music yeah. as well. I mean, there's yeah. definitely like a resounding like want of truth and authenticity, you know? Yeah. And Doc thought it might be interesting to see how society page superstar Mrs. Sloan Wolfman would react when somebody brought up the topic.